What's up, guys? Welcome to the show. Uh, welcome to the RNL Agenda. I am your host, Javier Bartiromo. Uh, no, that that would be silly. That would be silly. It would be silly if that was my name. We would have to change the name of the show. And I worked hard on the name of the show. My name is Lawrence Arnell. I am your host. Uh, I thank you for checking me out, for tuning in, for streaming. If you're watching the video version of this, for uh, downloading or stealing the, the audio version of this, however you have decided to partake in today's festivities, I thank you for checking me out. Um, this is the first episode of the Yarnell Agenda. Uh, it has come with no shortage of hesitation or trepidation. And, you know, if, if, if you're podcasting, or if you've thought about podcasting, there is, you have some idea of how much hesitation it has, there's been uh, leading up to making this first episode. There, there's no shortage of second guessing. Why should I bother? Am I wasting my time? Uh, I won't go into a whole lot about myself. If you're paying attention to me right now, chances are you've been paying attention to me for a while for any number of the things that I do. Uh, my music, stand-up comedy, just fooling around on social media. Chances are you already know all the different crap I get myself into, but I hesitated to do this. I've actually done some, I do some uh, sketches, uh, my man listen videos. Uh, I even spent a few weeks earlier this year doing a, 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 uh, a news current events kind of thing called We Need to Talk. I made like eight episodes of that. Uh, and it was a lot of fun. I didn't get a ton of views, especially not on YouTube. There were a few views here and there. Uh, but uh, the few views that I had and the people who paid attention to me, I got great interaction from. So it was a lot of fun, but there was a combination of discouragement and getting really busy. I got, I got, dis, I got discouraged and busy. I got busy scouraged, okay? <laughs> and and I kind of let that stuff go by the wayside. Uh, if this goes well and, you know, you guys want it, you'll let me know. And there'll be more, okay? There'll be more of the podcast. We need to talk. I'll get back into that stuff. The man listen videos are coming. There's tons of funny stuff happening. Um, but I wanted to to do this podcast because there's been a few things going on around me that I just feel like I need to... Honestly, guys, I need your help, okay? Um, I want to talk to you all about the... Uh, uh, earlier this week, I made a Facebook post. I made an Instagram post. And I asked my my followers, the people who are connecting with me online, I asked you guys, you know, with all these new movies and stuff that are going on, I asked the question. I, I said, you know, where do I start if I want to get interested in Star Wars uh, today, right? Um, I, I like to consider myself a bit of a geek. Um, I'm heavy into tech. I love action movies. I love uh, movie universes, cinematic universes. I'm a huge MCU fan. Uh, Mission Impossible is probably my favorite movie series, um, and I'm heavy into that. But I've never quite been able to get into Star Wars. The, the stuff I follow, I follow it hard, man. I go hard. I, I do the YouTube theory videos and the, the behind the scenes and documentaries and the lore and the history. And Star Wars, is it can be a little uh, uh, daunting to think about getting into it now. We're talking about a movie franchise that has as much history and lore. It goes back before I was even born. Right. I feel like I could take my whole life just trying to catch up. Like I've seen some Star Wars movies. I'm almost positive I've seen all three of the first, the, the original trilogy. I'm pretty sure I've seen them all. Uh, I'm not positive because they all kind of seem like the same movie to me. Like if you put on a scene, I couldn't tell you if it was Return of the Empire or Jedi Strikes Back. I couldn't tell you 
I don't know one from the other. I know who the main characters are because I've seen, I, I'm telling you, I know I've seen these movies. <laughs> I know I've seen them all, uh, but I can't tell them all apart. So I'm, I'm concerned about where to start um, if I get involved at this point. Like I've seen the original trilogy, then there was a, you know, there's a long break between that and the prequel trilogy. And I don't know, that, that prequel trilogy kind of turned me off. The Jar Jar Binks and the bad CGI, like it just, at that point it was just kind of like, you know what, no, I'm not, I'm not even going to do this to myself. I can't get involved. I'm not, Misa not so going to watch this stuff. These are movies. I'm, like, I'm not going to put myself through Jar Jar Binks. And I, so I kind of walked away. I walked away, and then the, the, the whole universe just blew up again, you know? And I don't know where to catch up. Uh, some of y'all, I had, I had some interesting suggestions online. Some of my Facebook friends suggested I, I watch in chronological order, right? You start with episode one. But that's that Jar Jar Binks era. I don't know if I want to... I don't know if I want to sit through that, right? There's that, and then there's uh, Anakin Skywalker, and uh, young Anakin, old Anakin. They're all a little lame to me, and I can't quite wrap my head around it. So I think, like, the, listen, young young Anakin and 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 Anakin, like teenage Anakin, <laughs> like angsty Anakin. <laughs> Why is he so angsty? I don't. I have a hard time believing that either of these guys actually grows up to be Darth Vader. I have a hard time living with that concept because Darth Vader's a G, and there's nothing G about young Anakin or angsty teenage Anakin. There's no gangster there, so I don't know why I should believe that 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 that's what's happening. That that's Darth Vader. That that's Darth Vader to be. Like I'm I'm not falling for. It. So I think what I really am looking for at this point uh is I think I need help figuring out what I can skip. Okay? I need to figure out what I can skip and still catch up with 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 Star Wars. I want to get in. I want to go hard. I want to go hard. I want to be a Star Wars. I want in, yo. I want to be a part of this universe. But I like I need to know what I can skip, yo. I really do. I need to know what I can pass on. Cuz I don't have 50 years to catch up with angsty Anakin, teenage Anakin, goth Vader. Like I'm not like I I don't want that. In, I don't want that. I want, I want the history and the lore, and I want to know what's popping. I want the fight scenes and the and the, the choreography. I want to see lightsabers. Zoom. I, I want all of that, but I don't want angsty Anakin. I live with a teenager. I gotta like I'm good on that. Like so, I need y'all to let me know. Hit my comment section. Talk to me, people. Let me know what's popping. I need to know what sections of this Star Wars universe I can pass on. That's what I need to know. Okay. I need your help with that because I'm I'm not I'm not playing. There's no I'm not playing. I need to get in that, but I need y'all to help me out. So hit my comments, talk to me. What can I skip? Where do I start? And what can I skip? Most importantly, that is the that is the premier concern. I'm not bored. All right. I'm not reaching or searching for things to get into. I'm good. Okay, I got plenty to do. So I need to know what I can skip. All right. Now, speaking of skipping, and speaking of space, we're going to move forward uh, to our president who got the Space Force popping. Speaking of space, right? Your boy Donald Trump. Did y'all know Donald Trump actually got approval from, from the Congress to fund a Space Force? Our president has a Space Force. It's been approved. This is our guy. This is our guy in our Congress. The Democrats signed on to it, too. Now, I don't know how great a deal it was for him because he, it's been approved but the Space Force apparently has to be staffed by existing Air Force personnel and personnel who already work on space stuff so basically, basically our Space Force is moving down the hall 
<laughs> from where they've been working at all along. But that's just one of the many historical things our man's working on. We actually, uh, the, 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 the Congress actually voted to impeach our president. Donald Trump is the third president in the history of the United States to actually uh, be impeached. It's happening. Um, the man has he's he's actually gone on and, and declared that the Democrats have declared war on democracy. He obviously has no idea what uh, democracy is. I don't know why that's not an impeachable offense in and of itself. But he thinks the Democrats have a war on democracy. This man's got a rap sheet as long as my arm. <laughs> I mean, this guy's been stealing from his charity, using charitable funds to fund his campaign, using campaign funds to fund his side piece. Monuments violations, he, the Doral situation with the G8 leaning on Zelensky. This guy is committing the presidential equivalent of suicide by a cop. Like he is begging to be impeached. Like this is not this is not a war on democracy, bro. This is a this is a war this is like the war on drugs. This is a crime crime epidemic we got to deal with here. But unfortunately. I'm personally of the opinion that uh, a conviction is not even on the table. Uh, I don't foresee a conviction. A lot of people are celebrating that he's being impeached. Uh, you guys got to get you guys got to get to your Google, man. You, you got to open your Google before you start posting because you're celebrating basically going to court. Half of y'all don't go to court. No way. So y'all already know, like half of y'all got bench warrants as it is. Stop acting like somebody getting a court date is a big deal. That's all my man got right now is a court date. Okay. Uh, I personally don't believe con uh, conviction is on the table. I don't even think it's an option. Not, not just because we have a Republican Senate, because as obviously a lot of y'all don't know, the Senate will serve as a jury and they must come to a majority vote to convict him, which would then lead to him being removed from office. But all we getting right now is a trial. And I don't see a conviction coming from this trial because all we get after that is Mike Pence. We get Mike Pence. Um, I don't know why y'all think y'all want Mike Pence. Dem Democrats. Uh, <laughs> Mike, Mike Pence is the presidential equivalent of having a, 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 a Catholic school nun with a ruler in the White House, okay? Uh, I don't know why Democrats think they want Mike Pence in there either. I know why we want Donald Trump out of the office. Uh, but what we're left with is Mike Pence. The only positive to Mike Pence that I can see is that uh, if this should happen prior to Election Day 2020, uh, I don't think Mike Pence can win a presidential election. But again, that is why that is the core reason I believe that there's no conviction on the table here. There's no way the Republicans uh, vote to because a lot of them would like to have Donald Trump out of the office, too. Uh, a lot of them are afraid of this man. Uh, he has he has ruined some people's uh, public identity. He, I mean, he's a bully. He's great at that. Uh, but I don't is as afraid of him as so many uh, Republican officials are. I don't see them voting him out of uh, voting to convict him because we end up with Mike Pence, and I don't think Mike Pence can win a presidential election in this country. I just don't see it. He doesn't even appear to be preparing to win a public uh, a presidential election. Mike Pence doesn't even seem to be putting himself out there in a public fashion. Uh, in a way to win over voters, in a way to ingratiate themselves to the public. He's not even trying it, which tells me that he doesn't even believe he could really win a presidential election. So I don't see uh, a conviction on the table. And what's even worse than all of that is after Don Teflon Donnie spanks this case, he's going to be a handful my man's going to be impossible okay he's going to officially be teflon donald talking smack 
heavy smack when this is all said and done. We are not going to be able to handle the Donald we're getting once he spanks this case. And above all, I'm telling y'all right now, if this slow down my tax return, we're going to have a serious problem. All right. Y'all think I'm running my trap right now. Wait till wait till they tell us that this whole impeachment mess is going to push our tax returns back to, to, to May. OK, if I can't listen, I need to pay for my summer vacation. If my tax return get pushed back because y'all fooling around with a man y'all can't convict. I'm I will march. I'll march on. I'll lead a march on Washington. All right, because Plymouth Rock ain't land on us. All right, I need my tax return. Y'all got to stop playing. All right, that's all I'm going to do for y'all. That's all I'm going to do to y'all today, man. I appreciate y'all uh, for checking me out, for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. There's more to come, I promise you. Uh, this has been the Arnell Agenda. My name is Lawrence Arnell. I appreciate you checking me out. And whatever you do, Please remember to do good first. Peace.